Hello, this is the Dame Sin, and today I am going to do a winter scene, and it's going to be a lantern on the snow, and we are going to put behind the lantern a branch that it's covered with um, snow. So the first thing I'm going to do is sketch the lantern really simple. So we're going to have a trapezoid for the front, a trapezoid for the side, triangles for the top of the first trapezoid, and another triangle that is connected to the first, so they're sharing a wall on the side. And make your triangles on the side, um, the line slightly upwards on the bottom, and connecting the triangle to the top area and the trapezoid both lines top and bottom the side trapezoid are um, much uh, they're slanted and they're much shorter so we have the perspective of our front is facing us and the side we don't see completely um, what i'm going to do here is use a ochre with a little bit of brown in it and i'm using wet on dry technique which means my uh, canvas is dry and i'm bringing in wet paint i am just doing the outlining of that lantern because the middle part um, is glass so we don't need to cover anything there yet and this is going to be the first layer of the lantern and the second layer the color that I created I added a little bit more brown in it and I'm adding emphasizing just on maybe a corner partial line um, so I'm not covering the whole surface and I'm not stretching my lines from end to end so I'm just using a very little bit so pretty much your lantern looks like a tiny little house color so you can darken it with um, a tiny bit of black or you can use a little bit of, of purple in your colored original color for the lantern and again just emphasizing not on every line just in a few areas that it feels like it should have a little bit more color or they're in a shadow so this part is a branch covered with snow so it is dark it's nighttime so the snow is not going to be really white so i mix um, blue with a little bit tiny bit of black so i'm creating a grayish blue and i'm using that to pretty much help me create that snow so it's going to outline it gently and then i will use a clean brush to soften the edges inside so clean and wet brush i'm gonna run it on the white areas so it will soften that edge of the paint that i added in those areas but um, use very transparent color so there's a lot more water in my color and pretty much it looks almost like clouds but as soon as we start adding the branches, it's going to give you that illusion that it's not a um, cloud, it's probably a snow. And for the ground, I, ground I'm using kind of the same color and just giving my um, canvas the outline and then gently softening the edges i will do that with again clean wet brush but my color is very very pale and lots of water in that color so that's the first layer 
I want to leave more white around the lantern because the lantern is spreading the light. So there should be more uh, lighter area just around that lantern. Adding a little bit of shadow right underneath that uh, green. And right now, because my green is still very pale, it's not standing out as much. But we're gonna add more green. So the green needed to dry just a bit so I can add the second layer of the green. So we're not gonna concentrate too much on the back, on the background, um, because the background is just a filler. And we wanna concentrate more on the lantern. Creating a little bit of a shadow, so I want the ring on the top. And if you see, not all of the lines are covered. And then with a clean brush, I'm running and gently picking some of the color and spreading it around. So again, I'm softening those lines. And I'm using um, blue, wet, a little bit of black. Emphasizing more on the shadows kind of behind. A little bit more than before, but still very transparent. And let's add some light inside that lantern with a clean yellow. And I think I added too much yellow, so we're gonna lift some of that up, but we're not worried, because it's very, very light. And barely touching that yellow on that little white uh, ground that I left around the lantern but we have to be careful when yellow and blue starts mixing it creates green so we don't want to turn our snow green so I'm using a little bit of brown just to emphasize on the color of the lantern it's getting a little bit too pale so we are going another layer but every layer does not cover completely the previous layer. So it's adding to whatever we have done already. We can add a few lines right there on the top. Now that area is more in a shadow because the light does not get there. So we are going to have a darker top than anything that it's um, like the walls or not the walls, but the little lines on the bottom part will be much lighter than the top part. So we can add a little bit of orange just to make it look more like a flame. I'm gonna try to, um, just in that area, took a little bit of the color off and added a little bit of blue to look like a glass. I am going back to the snow on the back. Just adding one more layer, making it look good and more believable. And I even added a little bit of blue, greenish blue into the branches because it's dark so we're not going to see the real color. And the lantern does not spread that much color. It's it's not a projector. <laughs> and once I add any color, I go with a clean wet brush and kind of soften um, all the edges that I want to be soft. By adding this uh, line around the lantern, it just made it like almost like standing a little higher than um, the rest of the snow. And these are the colors that I have used. I don't want to forget to do that. And it's brown, yellow, green, orange. 
ochre, purple, blues, a couple of different blue, whatever you have, it's still gonna be okay and it's gonna work. And green. do have black and sometimes I'll move my image just like that to observe it if it's um, if it has too much water I cannot see um, the paint very well so I move it around just to observe it and uh, I'm gonna emphasize a little bit more with a purple on a couple of areas and that's going to push all the elements and make them stronger so um, again I'm going harder on the darker area so there is that iron shadow but also that X in the middle where it's holding the glass in place I added a little bit more um, darkness kind of in the corners and the X part and right on the bottom And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And sometimes when I'm signing myself, I still observe the painting to see if there's anything I can do to make this better. And what I'm going to do is go back in and add a little more red into my fire. And just tiny bit lift some of that uh, yellow, make it a little more whitish, make it more glowy that way. I think that's gonna work. And please don't forget to let me know how your lantern turns, I would love to hear from you. And pretty much that's it. So happy painting. Thanks for watching. Bye.